So my best friend decided she wanted to start raising mealworms and being my best friend, great minds think alike, and she gave me half of her order. So we are going to start raising mealworms for our chickens. Um, and when they get a little bit bigger, the big grubs will use as bait when we go fishing. But these are them. You can see they are, they don't like the light. Not at all. But I've got some apples in here for now just for their water source. Um, but we are going to make a mealworm farm. Um, we've watched some videos on YouTube and are kind of running with everybody else's idea, I guess. And we are going to use the Sterilite containers. Um, the first one is out right now. Um, Corey's cutting the bottom out. But what we're going to do is use these for different stages of their lifespan. Um, essentially, the beetles will be in the top. They'll lay the eggs, and we're going to put a screen through the bottom. The eggs will fall into here and become the larva, the, the worms, and we'll move the worms here. So here, we'll always have the full-size, ready-to-eat mealworms. We can just reach in and grab some for the chickens, um, and as they start to go to the beetle stage, we'll move them back up to the beetle box. And it's, a, it's just a cycle. So, what you're going to need is a, a Sterilite or a plastic storage container, um, whatever size, color, width, length, height you choose. Um, we wanted a little bit of a bigger one. We have quite a few chickens, so we're going to need quite a few worms. So we need the extra space. So this is the one we're using. We just got it from Walmart. Of course, your mealworms. Um, this is the screen we're going to use. It was just the least expensive that I could find. Um, a glue gun, which is somewhere over, over there. A glue gun and some glue sticks. I've got some duct tape. Um, we're using a ruler. Let's see, you can see what Corey's doing. To measure the inside. That way there's a lip. So when the container goes into the box, there's a lip and any eggs that fall through will fall into the bottom box and not get caught on the sides, on the fall out of the container. So now we got this done. Corey's going to cut the screen and get the glue gun ready. We'll be right back. All right, so Corey's trimming it, but we just um, super glued, super glued, hot glued the screen to the plastic. You can see we did a pretty thick bead and right up to the edge of where the plastic is cut on the inside. Um, my husband's the king of overdoing it, so we have a little bit of extra on the glue, but a little bit extra never hurt anybody. So now he's going to take the um, tape and just kind of go around the edges of the screen just to make sure that there's no um, overlapping of the screen that can get caught on anything. So it'll be all nice and neat. So there's the bottom, all nice and neat. I'll put in the screens nice and tight um, and it's all, all the edges and corners are taped down and it's glued all the way to the edge where the plastic meets so nothing can get up underneath the plastic here in the screen. Um, so this one goes on top and this is where the beetles are going to go when they lay their eggs. And as I said, the, the eggs will fall through here and this is where they will grow to be the worms that we'll put here. I don't know the names of all the stages. So, um, so we're going to start with the worms and we're going to put them here in the bottom. What we are going to use are just oats, just regular oatmeal. These have the no artificial flavors, no preservatives, no high fructose corn syrup, no partially hydrogenated oils. Um, we're going to go to our feed store and get some of the organic oats. We just haven't gone yet. We'll, we'll go eventually. Um, so all we're going to do is cover the bottom with the oats. You don't want it too much. They, they don't need that much. Maybe a little more like right there where it's come through. I would add the second one. Yeah, we're going to add the, both of these for this great big old drawer. And then I'm going to add the worms. i got to get them some new pieces of apples. And, 
and just dump them in. That's a lot of worms. I said you can use carrots, potatoes, um, whatever you have for them. I said I'm, I have apples that are getting close to going bad that we're not, we probably won't eat. So that's what I'm going to use. But they are all in here. And this is their food. And the carrot, potato, or apple is their water. And that's all you need for them. They're, they're done. Um, I may get a paper towel holder and cut it in half and put it in here. But other than that they're finished they don't need anything and when they start to grow into they'll get like this little white cocoon thing that's when they're about to be beetles and then I'll move them here and up here I will probably put a little bit of oatmeal just to cover the bottom and then like a styrofoam I mean um, the paper egg container cartons and put it in here and then the apples just like he down here and that's all that they're going to need. So they are very low maintenance and perfect for my little chickens. They're going to be some happy, happy chickens. So now that this is done, I'm going to put this in a dark place in my computer room, den, whatever you want to call it, and just wait for them to start growing. If I can remember, I will do an update, but as of now... They are good to go. Oh, wait. Here we go. Thank you, honey. It's going to go down in here. I'm going to cut my apple, and we'll be done. And I said, there's those. I'm just going to put my apple slices in here. And that's it. Nothing else is needed. I probably won't have to mess with them for a couple days. Just kind of check on their apples and... Uh, get them new ones as they need it but that's it so it has been about three weeks I would say two weeks maybe and you can see they're all still up they're doing good but they're not moving a whole lot there's a couple that are moving but that's because they are starting to I don't want to say cocoon because I don't know what it's called and they will come out of this as the beetle a pupa yeah pupa, pupa. so Those are the chrysalis. these kind of like a chrysalis yes but so what i'm going to do oh look here's another one there's four there's four mama there's four in here yeah oh there's you've been four. in here playing and counted them yeah. so there's there's a few so what i'm going to do is take um some oatmeal and i'm going to watch out love and put it here in the top and that way when they come out as beetles and they start to lay eggs the eggs third will one. fall through here's the third one here's the third there's another one, one. a yeah, third one the okay third we'll one. put it back there's more. That one's the they one will just... be the beetles will be in here and stay and then they will lay eggs through the screen into here mm -hmm. and when they're big enough we will move them back down to here then, but since but since they are starting to pupate, I guess. Oh, look, there's a little. What, what is that like a weevil? I guess that's a little beetle. Um, I'm going to start going through and start picking through the ones that are like cocoon, oh, and cocoon. start moving them up to the top. So I've got a little sifter here that I bought. And I'm going to sift some of this here to get the frass out. And the frass is just the waste, their droppings, just everything that's not oatmeal. And as you can see, there's a little piece right there. Um, they shed their skin quite a few times as they grow. So I'm going to go ahead. Like that one's. Yep, that's just skin. So I'm going to go ahead and, like I said, go through these. And uh, clean it out just a little. Oh, look, this one's supposed to be and, and, um, this one's shedding its skin. No, this that, one's, one is... that one's turning into a pupa. You're right. See how they get really still and they go really white. So, yeah, that means it's time to start moving quite a bit oh, of them up here's here. Here's another one. Here's another one. These two. These two. All right. So I guess Bug's going to help me. 
I guess she gets her nickname Bug for a reason. Three. There's, There's three. three. There's four. So we have quite a bit of moving to and do. Five. Yes, this is going to be a long night. Six. There's six of these. All right, well, we'll get them moved. So let us get this going, and we'll be this back in just a little bit. This is All right, so what I've done is just move everything to this side. And I'm just going to pick up some mealworm concoction and just strain this into the bowl. And as you can see, there is little pieces of all kinds of stuff that's not oatmeal. And I'm just going to do this and strain all of, all of the bad stuff out. And when it is done to my liking, I'm just going to dump it over there and I'm going to have bug pick out my pupa bugs and we're going to put them in the top. So let me get this going a little bit more and we'll see ya. Yay. Oh, I see a pupa. Mm. All right. So there we go. There's one. She's going through the first. You can see all the stuff that I pulled out. Um, this is just by putting it through this, this mesh. So no since more. she's going through and making sure no that more. there's no more in here, that one can go up there. That one's white. He's Making sure that there's no more I can help. of the little ones I of the help. pupa. Just a minute, love. You're doing the next batch. Okay. Me too. Yes, you too. Everybody gets to. Oop, there's a little, a little beetle or something. Um. So yeah, just going through and uh, making sure we get them all. This one. Nope. He's still brown. He's good. Uh, all right. Yep. You're right. That's it. All right. Watch out. It's Rory's turn. All right, so I'm gonna move them to the side, pick us up another batch, and do the same thing. Mom, can I scoop up for people? All right, so this is done. All right, Rory, it's your turn. Go ahead and look through it. Tell me if you see any in there. Any beetles? No. Any pupa? Any of the little pupa? Oops, come on. Uh. I don't see any in that batch, huh? Rory found one that Kyrie missed. So, I don't think there's any in this one. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What? What's that? What's that right there? Oh, a pupa. A pupa's right there? Oh, I missed him. I missed oh, him. be careful. Don't squish him. Uh, where is he? Oh, I found him. I got him. I got him. You got him? All right. Put him in there. Mm -hmm. So, we've got four in there right now. We've got one, two, three, four. So, we're going to keep on going through, and next is Wyatt's turn. My, my, I just All right, so I've done that. enough. Nope, leave that there. And it is Wyatt's turn. All right, tell me if you can find any in there. What's that? Poopa. Poopa. Got it? Yep. Be careful. Don't squish it. Oh, okay. Be careful. I got poop. <laughs> he put him on the box. It's okay. He needs to be there. No, he doesn't. It's okay. He's doing just fine. All right, you see any more in there? I don't see any. I don't either. Oh, Mommy. oh it's just a little piece of skin. Throw it out. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Look what I see. What is that? Tell me what that is. Poopa. Yay. He's a poopa. He's a poopa. <laughs> Alright, so I five, think six, there's six in there. We're doing good, huh? Yeah. Alright. I think that's it for now. Uh, all the kids have had a turn, so now it's mommy's turn. Mommy, I'm going to finish this up and just bye. keep going. Bye. <laughs> Mama, I wanna go. And um keep going through. This is just from sifting three times. Do you see how much is here? This is ridiculous, huh? So you can imagine what I'm going to get out of here. So let me get this done, and we'll be right back. I told you. Wouldn't take no time. Come here, you. Come here. Here. Take one out of here. What I got? Good stuff? <laughs> Put 
crazy chicken. Well, this is the last of it, guys. This is my last um, straining, I guess, my last little batch. All this, it's all done, all been cleaned. So this is all fresh and clean, mealworms, no pupas. Here are my pupas. You can see them all in there. So let me get this finished here. Just wanted to show you the little chick. She doesn't have a name yet. Corey doesn't know it, but I'm going to get her a little chicken diaper and just, she's going to be my pet. So let me um, finish straining this and get it all laid out and I'll show you what the next step is. Yeah, say bye because you're getting ready to go to bed. Say bye. So there it is, guys. It is all nice and gone through and I may go ahead and get them new pieces of apple, I think. I don't know. No, there's still plenty of juice in there. All right, so, um, yeah, these have all been gone through and clean. You can see in the bottom of the cage, there's no pieces of anything. It is nice and clean. That's because all the frass is here. Do you see how much is in the bottom of this thing? You will not believe the amount of junk. So, that's done. This is a new thing of oatmeal. I have got my uh, pupas in here. I'm going to put just enough to cover the bottom. Actually, you know what? There we go. Just so I don't make a humongous mess everywhere. So about half this tub, like that. And all my pupas are in here somewhere now, out and around. Here's one. And I'm going to take these and just lay them in here, like so. And I'm going to get some apple pieces to put in there. Yeah, that would have been that would have been bad. Let's just put it there. Let's just do that. So there we go. That's done. This, uh, the rest of this, it's fresh. All right, it's all over the top. And we're done. This is going to go into my garden. And the mealworms are now fresh and clean. They need, oh no. Uh, they need a piece of apple. And we're done for another couple weeks.